Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want us to look at how you can express complex numbers in polar form. Viewers, I have a video on introduction to complex numbers. Yes, those of you who have not watched that video, you are advised to go and watch that one before watching this. Viewers, look on the board. When you have a complex number z, when you see called to x plus i y this way, this is a complex number. Yes, this is a red part, this is a imaginary part. Now, this complex number can be represented in the complex plane this way. This x, so this is for the rare part, and this is y, this is the imaginary part. Yes. Now, this complex number can be represented this way in the complex plane. This is a complex plane, or sometimes you can see the Agrand plane or the Agrand diagram. Agrand. Yes, Agrand. So, complex plane or Agrand plane or Agrand diagram or so that you can also see Gaussian plane. Okay. Now, if you have this, you can represent it this way as a point here. P, we call this X and Y. So what this means is that if you, this is the this, you're going to have something like this. So from here to here is X, and from here to here is Y. Now, when you have this way, there is a right angle triangle. This is 90. Let's call the angle here 5. And let's call the hypotenuse rho. Yes, rho. Now, from the diagram, US, we can say that from Pythagoras' theorem, which states that in any right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides, we can say that rho square is equal to x square plus y square. Are you seeing it? So it means that rho is equal to square root of x square plus y square. Yes, US, this is very, very important. Now, from the diagram, the right angle triangle, you can say that sine theta. Now, sine is so opposite over hypotenuse. You are known for a sub -cartua. Sub -cartua. Yes, sub -cartua. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is opposite over uh, adjacent. So sine theta is equal to uh, opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, the opposite is the, the, the side that is facing the angle under consideration. So this is the angle, so the opposite to be y over the hypotenuse is rho. Rho. So from here you can say that y is equal to rho sine uh, phi. This is phi, the angle is phi, not theta. Phi. Now, cos phi is equal to cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos phi will be x over rho. So what this means is that x is equal to rho cos phi. I see it. Now, this is the complex number we are given. So what this means is that z, which is equal to x plus i y, is now equal to x is rho. Let's do the substitution is equal to rho cos phi I see it, that is x plus i times y y is rho sine phi rho sine phi so you can see that rho is a common factor to come out here and you, have, you are going to get cos phi plus i sine phi so viewers, what this means is that when you are asked to express any complex number in polar form, this is the formula you have to use. So
So this is a complex number. So rho cos 5 plus i sin 5. And this rho, which is given by this formula, hmm, yes, that is from Pythagoras' theorem, is uh, known as the magnitude or the modulus or the absolute value of z. Yes, this rho is known as the magnitude or the modulus or the absolute value of z. Yes, and it is denoted this way. Yes, this is the absolute value of z. And this is the same as the rho. Now, the phi, the angle phi, is referred to as, or is called the amplitude. The amplitude of argument. Argument of z. Abbreviated ag z. So when you see ag z, it means that the, the amplitude or the argument of the complex number we are talking about z. Okay. So when you are giving any complex number, you are asked to express it in polar form. This is the formula you have to use. And this rule is given by this. This is given by this. Okay. Let's look at a, a specific question. Let's look at a question. So we are saying that rule the integrator force 5 plus i sin 5. You can say question. You can say express express 3 plus 3i in polar form. Yes, this is a complex number, and you want to express it in polar form. So when you are giving something like this, so solution. Solution. Just draw your complex plane or the Agan diagram or the Agan plane or the Gaussian plane. So you're going to have something like this. X, Y, this is a real part and this is an imaginary part. Yes. Now, this one is 3, 3. So the real part, I say you should go here. This is 0. If this is 0, then you are saying when you go here, It is the point. When you go here, this one should be 3, that is the x. And then the y should also be 3. Are you seeing it? Yes. And then let's try to get the rule here. And then let's call this angle uh, phi. Are you seeing it? So if you're able to get the, the values of rho and phi, then you can easily write the this complex number in polar form. Yes. Okay. So let's look at how you can get the rule. See, to get the rule, you have to use this formula. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Rho is equal to square root of f squared plus y squared. So in this case, it's going to be square root of 3 squared. This is the x and this is the y. 3 squared plus, let me write this word square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared and this is called square root of 9 plus 9, 18 and this is called the square root of 9 times square root of 2 because 9 times 2 you are this and this is 2 so square root of 9 is 3 so 3 root 2 ok so this is the rule this is this side from Pythagoras now if you're able to get the angle phi, then you can finally write the, the, the complex number in polar form. So let's get the i. So how do you get the i? You have this side, you have this side. So you can decide to use tan. Yes, you can see tan phi and tan will be opposite over adjacent. So for the diagram, you can see that tan phi is equal to opposite which is 3 over adjacent which is also 3 so tan phi is equal to this is the formula I am going to write right here z is equal to root bracket cos phi plus i sin phi this is what we are going to use finally so this is equal to 1 3 over 3 is 1 so to get phi phi is equal to tan inverse Tan inverse of 1 
It means that I want an angle whose tan is 1, and that is 45 degrees. Yes, you can use your calculator. Tan inverse of 1 is 45 degrees. US, you can uh, accept degrees as the final answer. Yes, you can accept it. So we need to convert it into radians. The 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. This is it. Now we can just say 2 pi right. What this means is that 180 degrees will be equal to 1 pi right. So it means that this implies that 180 degrees is equal to 1 pi right. Or we can just say pi right. This is it. Therefore, if you have 45 degrees and you want to convert it into radians, then this one will be, if less, more divided, this one will be 45 over 180 times pi right. And this is equal to, now 45 goes into 184. Uh, 45 goes into 45, 1 goes to 4. So you are going to have pi over 4 right. Are you seeing it? This is pi over 4 right. Okay. So therefore, the question that we are giving to solve, therefore, therefore, 3 plus 3i in polar form, 3 plus 3i in polar form is equal to, we are going to use this formula. We are saying that this is rho, the rho is what? 3 root 2. Are you seeing it? 3 root 2. Cos 5. 5 is the angle, and the angle is pi over 4. Ingredients, yes. Plus i sine pi over 4. So this is this complex number in polar form. In polar form, yes. So, who else, if you have really understood this, when you are given any complex number and you are asked to express it in polar form, you follow the same procedure. It's not difficult at all. Thank you very much.